All right, Harvey, one of the questions that I think anyone should be asking you is, should I be interviewed first, middle, or last? And uh, I was looking through the chapters here, chapter 45, page 198. You know, your chapter titles are really, really fun. This one is Early Birds Get the Worm. I won't say what the next part is, but why don't you provide some tips on the order of the interview, if you can control it. What should you look for? Surely, the late birds get the job, just to okay. complete your sentence. I want to leave it on a little. Oh, all right, okay. Tickle them a little, little bit, A little cliffhanger. Right? All right, cliffhanger. All right, photo finish. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, I've had some wonderful experiences over a lifetime, and again, right at the top of the list would be serving on Robert Redford's Board of Trustees, the Sundance Institute, where we were mm -hmm. just recently, yes. correct? And uh, spending uh, you know approximately 12 years on the board, uh, I learned a lot. And there's one conversation I had, and they call him Bob, okay? One conversation I had with Bob I'll never forget. And he said, whenever you're shooting a film, all right, you never want to be in the first, second, third, fourth month of the year. You want to hold it as long as you can, the 11th or 12th month if you can, because those are the ones that capture, okay, the Academy Awards. Those are the ones that are the pictures of the years. I might also add uh, the reason why I went on that board was because of Robert Redford, Bob Redford, what he has done for the independent filmmaker. I mean, you can't thank him enough. Mm -hmm. What he has done for the struggling entrepreneur, the filmmaker, the independent filmmaker. So uh, that's the reason why I went on the board, learned a lot, and now I've applied that to the jobs. All right, when you get scheduled for an interview, you just very, very maybe surreptitiously Okay, maybe maybe a little bit of a scheme, but you know, uh, I've got this appointment, that appointment, and I'd love to be, you know, last or late in the afternoon or whatever. And the reason is, again, the people will remember the people at the end, way more than they will at the beginning. Some companies go through four, six, eight, ten interviews, and your chances go up if you're at the end rather than the beginning. Don't forget it. It's a very nice move to make. All right, so what you've done then is, if you've done your preparation as you talk about and you've used the tools and resources, you're going to come in prepared and hopefully last, so you're going to make or that. Or second to last. Okay. Let, me, let me throw in another sentence that I have there in the book, a fellow by the name of Pat Fallon. He's from Minneapolis, very close friend. I know Pat. Well, you know Pat. Yeah, we yeah. didn't even, well, there you are. I'm an agency boy, remember? Uh, I yeah. can't say enough good things about yeah. Pat Fallon. All right. I mean, they threw the die away when they made Pat. I mean, only in America. I mean, this is a really an only in America story. Right out of the back seat of his car, number one ad agency, you know, worldwide, won every kind of trophy there is to win. And he told me the same thing. When they're making presentations, you know, if they're going before Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, whatever, six, eight, ten presenters, he fights his guts out. All right, to be last, so that they can remember the presentation. Key, key place.